afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for September 16th, Monday, 2019. I wanted to just make a brief thank you for uh, Diane Mould for your uh, contribution to the funds for the Celestial Chamber. Much appreciated, and thank you for the card. Much love to you. There are a lot of things that you're, if you haven't already, I know you're sensing. This is the last, in many ways, um, stand for the low frequencies of this planet. Uh, I'm sure you all know that in that position, they are the most dangerous frequencies. And so you will be, you know, kind of exposed to every single avenue under the sun of the disillusionment and fear tactics and more lies and deceit and, you know, fear manipulation, insanity, craziness, looney tune, you name it, unprecedented in the history of this civilization. This is why it is so important for us to be within. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, that doesn't accomplish anything. That's not doing anything to help anything. Quite the contrary. It is helping immensely, phenomenally. And it's changing the very fabric of existence on this planet. And understand something when I talk about the collective consciousness, it's us many others whose intent is for a paradise planet, um, a utopia. What better place for gods to inhabit bodies, to enjoy their existence and the experience of the physical body? And you hear people, certain people will say, and you, 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 you can look it up in videos and stuff where they, you know, well, you know Earth is, uh, is a really tough planet. Um, you know, a lot of uh, souls, gods want to come here and inhabit bodies. And it means that they're accelerated and they're perfecting. That's not my opinion. That's theirs. So, um, we want this planet to be beautiful, wonderful, and enjoyable for all of the civilization, everyone. We, we also intend that the prosperity, abundance, and wealth is distributed in mass to the people of this civilization. Because they're, they are all capable of thinking for themselves and leading themselves. Just many of them haven't come to that realization yet. Ones that are demon possessed, that are you know, uh, the, the drones and the, uh, the, the replicas, you know, the clones uh, are just soulless uh, vessels. There's no soul in them. You see a lot of this going on right now in this country and around the world. It is not our intent to give it energy. We're not interested in that. We're interested in uplifting our vibrational frequency. This is the only way. You know, the conflict, the war, the, con the destruction, the, 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 all of that, we all know what that is. Uh, isn't something that we care to have on this planet any longer. It just isn't. And I think all of you can sense and feel through your heart minds 
but it's really, really old. Okay? It's just really old. Archaic. And this is a good sign that many of us are awake to understand that. Now, it's not like we, we, we were angry about it. It's, um, some may become um, upset about it. Uh, obviously, but those of us who understand the very construction, engineering of all this, if we're going to put our energies into something, it will be peace, joy, love, uh, happiness and bliss, kindness and benevolence. We have a lot of allies. Uh, I don't talk about this much, but we have a tremendous amount of allies. Every time we engage these uh, meditations, you know, we're running close to 16 million worldwide. But that's small in comparison to all of those who are assisting us. When we call out to all of these uh, gods, they're of the highest frequency of deep eternal love. That, that's, I don't just say that to say it. They are. They have asked me, to share this with all of you because of the fact that it needs to be recognized and deeply uh, in deep gratitude. Uh, so as we call them in in this meditation, heal them. I'm sure a lot of you do because we're calling in unprecedented numbers of gods to outsource his creation. And when we fill this universe, and we actually are filling it, it's massive, massive, high-frequency energy. It saturates this planet, this whole solar system, this whole belt of this quadrant of the galaxy, and way beyond it. You're talking about into the super-universes and beyond micro-universes. It's, it's everywhere. We call upon them here on the planet, in the planet. We're calling upon all of our loved ones. We're calling upon the archangels. We're calling upon all of these part of the collective consciousness. Now, what do you think that's doing with this planet and all of the civilization? What do you think is fueling all of this and this massive shift into higher frequencies. There are other groups on the planet who are also assisting. This is a unprecedented uh, forward movement of frequency shift in the history of this planet. The Egyptians didn't even accomplish that. Neither did Atlantis. Neither did Lemuria. Neither did Moon. Neither did any of them. And it is our deepest desire that more and more on this planet become attuned, in tuned with the fact that this is a very easy, very flowing avenue of the highest intent for deep eternal love and peace for this planet, all of our brothers and sisters. We have today in this meditation, in this now, is about our appreciation for all of our brothers and sisters joining in us in this increase of the deep eternal love and the highest of highs frequencies. It is a gratitude meditation. It is a uh, the highest deepest, highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. When you put yourself in this on your own volition without being manipulated or anything through your heart mind, when you decide to be in deep gratitude, it will com completely shift you. It doesn't mean that the baddies, the negatives will come in and the lower frequencies, because they do. They do. But you can, they more easily will go away. They won't hang with you for days and days and days. They'll, they'll dissipate. Okay? And you'll feel this. Deep within you, you'll feel that wave and experience it. And we all, we all are intending this 
to all of our brothers and sisters and all life on this planet. All of you would like to be, you know, you take a you take a trip to the ocean and it's beautiful, clean, spectacular water. The skies are indigo blue and just phenomenally wonderful. And the clouds that you see are pris- even pristine. And the rain is is drenching and pure and cleaning and washing. You know? It's like if you ever if you've ever done your vehicle and you wash it, you wax it, and you do the insides and you, you, you take take energy into that and it's just pristine. It's the same feeling, much more intense of this planet that we are on and in. Where the life is in association with us, where the birds and all of the, the different life forms uh, are in harmony with us. And us them. We don't care to have one human, one member of this civilization, be in suffering, pain, sorrow, anguish, distress, poverty, ill health, unhappiness. We don't. That's. We just don't care to have that. Our intent is is that. A joy, a peace, a happiness, a prosperity, and abundance washes over the entire population of this planet. And that we're responsible enough that with the this this stewardship of wealth is appropriately distributed to others, whether it's through job creation, through projects, whether it's assisting and helping others think for themselves, lead themselves, to create value for themselves, and to build well for themselves in the civilization. This is important. Because we're in the civilization of the universe. This is what drives each and every one of us. We know the difference. We know the difference between this self-annihilation universe and the one that we have entered. We would, we, we would not be in it because if we weren't in it, we wouldn't be here together. So this is a meditation of the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. We are eternally in gratitude. Why is that? It allows us to be in perfect harmony and balance with all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. So if you will, go to the place where you are not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. And the first thing you're going to want to do is relax your body. Now, obviously, the last several hours, you probably have picked up debris that has attached itself to you. not feeling right or stresses or worries or fears or that type of thing. Let it go. It serves us no purpose. And it does glue to us, you know. You say let it go, but it just still there. Still. So you just have to increase your intensity of love, peace, and harmony. And say I love you, but I don't care to have you around anymore. to release it. And if need be, call on the purple transmitting flame and the violet ray. Now, drop your shoulders. While you're relaxing the body, you're going to want to move into the now. This is empowering for each and every one of us. It is not a habit that we have because we have been trained to be in the habit of the past and the future and not in the now. It's not something that's automatic for us yet. But as we move into the now, we are not participating in the past. 
we are not projecting into the future. We are only in the now. And this is, it eliminates that fringe that we're going into your past and creating your future. The past is done. We have experienced it. That's why it's the past. It's very seductive. It causes us to reminisce and to go into this and that. But that's a dangerous thing. Right? So we move into the now. We don't go into the future. We don't project five to ten minutes, twenty minutes, an hour, two hours away. We just don't visit it because it's not there yet. All right? It's just like our minds. The thoughts our minds generate are not real until we make them so. They're just thoughts. Remember, you're the master and commanders of your light ships. So, as you're relaxing, you've moved into the now, and you've moved into stillness of the mind. You want to breathe. Breathing is so important. You want to breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. As you breath in through the nose, you want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then breath out through the mouth. For those of you that are new to this meditation, the reason that we hold our breath is to focus ourselves on the now. Because the now, breath is in the now. It cannot be in the future or the past. It is only in the now. So it's like when you go to bed and you've got all these thoughts that start, the mind starts throwing in, and you might have little worries and wonders, fear. You concentrate on your breathing and focusing on the now, and that will, it, it absolutely will dissipate and go away. And you want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. You don't have to take in so much breath where you're wheezing, but you do it nice, real healthy in, inhale and breath in, real health, healthy exhale, breath out. So you get all the breath out, and you bring in on as much breath as you can, softly and carefully. Now, when you breathe, when you breath in through the nose, you're breathing in divine, positive energy. This comes from the collective consciousness of the universe. This comes from the prime source creator. It comes from the source of which we are. It comes from the collective consciousness of the universe. It's everywhere. It comes from all that there is, ever has, but ever will be. It is a high vibrational frequency. Most of humanity ignores this because they are not tuned or connected to themselves and their gods within. We, however, identify this. It is a feeling. It is a warmth. It is an embrace. And as it saturates us, as, we, as it comes in through the God, communication with our conscious selves, it always is sending us, communicating a constant flow of communication. What it in this now in this meditation is, we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes for everything. Can you see how easy it is for us to slip away from that? It is all of us we slip away from it. Complain or will, you know, we, we're so in the habit of complaining and and you know making statements about something, well, this wasn't right or that wasn't right, it did, and it's just because of this and that, instead of saying, I am, I am, I am grateful. And do it. You do it from the heart mind. You know, not off of the top of the head, but deeply within the heart mind. Because we're part of all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. We're part of the mountains, part of the trees, the grass, everything. 
all of it. Not just this planet, but everything. It's a celebration every second we are in these bodies. Every second is a celebration. Remember, we are merged with our heart mind. We are one with the God within. The kingdom of God, the God mind. Source. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. This is our God light energy. It forms this halo, this beautiful golden white, shimmering pink light. You can see the high frequency flames wafting off of it. It circles the equator of planet Earth, Gaia. It encases this entire planet in a perfect sphere of the golden white pink light of source, which is Mother, Father, God, which is Prime Source, Creator, God, our family, which is the universe. And it saturates above and below all life, all things, and deep eternal love. And we are encased in these, our own spheres of this deep eternal love. And we begin to, to understand and embrace the power that we are. Some of it is the explained or identified as the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. Our power of healing is what that represents. All things. The purple transmuting flame. This is a, a power, a high energy. And it transmutes low frequencies. Violence, evil, disruptiveness neutralizes it. Basically into nothingness. And then it's just sent back to the great central sun for repurposing the violet ray, which is a cleansing power energy from source. It comes in and it cleanses the area of any fragments of low frequency. The white fire, which is our mantle, our armor, if you will, of deep eternal love and protection. The violet, blue, purple, flaming light of Archangel Michael. This is our resolve, our confidence, our courage, our commitment to the highest of frequencies. And the golden, white, pink light of source creation, deep eternal love of which we are. We're made of this. We are this. The only thing that can penetrate these fields more deep eternal love. All those vibrational frequencies dissipate, vanish, vaporize. So we begin to move up above the planet. Now, we leave the body. We sustain these bodies. We have to be connected to them because we power these bodies. When we leave these bodies, they cannot sustain themselves for very long. This is why we are attached. It's like an umbilical cord of energy that feeds the body, of pure divine light energy. So we move up effortlessly above the planet. And we're compelled to call upon our families. All of the light energy beings who are, again, all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. 
They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in joy, peace, happiness, bliss, generosity, humbleness, tranquility, benevolence. And they come arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us in this meditation, in this now. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes, as we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. Eternal means forever, forever. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon the archangel, the seraphim, the cherubim, the archetypes, all the angels, all of the civilization who have been assisting our civilization for ants in peace and prosperity and joy and abundance and wealth and goodness and kindness and protection. They are the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in joy and peace, happiness and bliss. They are in tranquility and benevolence. They are in generosity and humbleness. They are non-judging. They are full in compassion. And in any one instance, there could be 10,000 or more of them surrounding us. And they come in the trillions. They flock in, and they join us in this meditation and this now, and arm in arm, hand in hand. And they are of the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. And we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. We are all one. We are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the ascended masters. These are those who have ascended out of physical form, out of body, left the matrix, and have taken the rest and come back to assist all of us. It is our choice to interact with them or not. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in peace, joy, kindness, happiness, bliss. They are in generosity and humbleness. They are in full compassion. They are non-judging. And just to name a few of them, Freya, Wanya, Ganesh, Lakshmi, Buddha, Gaia, St. Germain, Nana Jesus, Moria, Abundantia, and many, many, many more. And they come in massive numbers, arm in arm, hand in hand, to join us in this meditation, in this now. And they are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. As we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes, and we are all one, and we are all love, and our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the inhabitants of hollow earth, Garta, inner earth, beneath earth, all of these civilizations who are only of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in joy and peace in generosity and humbleness, who are in full compassion, non-judgment, kindness, and they come and they join
join us arm in arm, hand in hand, in this meditation, in this now. And they are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes, and we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes, and we are all one, we're all love, and our godlike energy expands, and is everywhere. It keeps moving and saturating all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. It does not dissipate. Continues to shrink. We call upon the off-worlders in the blackness. Only those of these civilizations who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. Who are in joy. Who are in full compassion. Who are non-judging. Who are benevolent and kind who are humble, who are generous. They have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, uh, in our ascension, and freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. And they come in this meditation, in this now, arm in arm, hand in hand, they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. This is always a celebration and a jubilee for all of us every single day in every single meditation. This is why we are in constant highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. And this is why we are all one. We are all love. We are all source. And our God-like energy is everywhere. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who are in the highest of deepest eternal love and from the highest and deepest eternal love, in peace and joy, benevolence and kindness and tranquility and generosity and humbleness and full of compassion and non-judging. And they come arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us in this meditation, in this now, in our circle of light. They are of the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. We are of the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. We are all one. We are all love. And our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms in this now, in this meditation, on and in this planet. Of it and below it. And I just name a fraction of them. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, wards, the gnomes, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, the mermaids, the dolphins and the whales, the pegasus, the unicorn, and the minotaur, and the centaur, just to name a few of them. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in joy and peace, tranquility and benevolence. They are in kindness and generosity and humbleness. 
They are not judging. They are full in compassion. They assist with the health and well-being of all that there is. And they come arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us in this meditation, in this now. And they come in the trillion in colors, shapes, sizes, forms of which we have never seen before. And they are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. And we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitudes. We are all one. We are all love. And our God-light energy is everyone. We look up and we see our meditative sphere that we have created. Holding all of our meditations in perpetual motion. It sets center circle. It can be seen, heard, and felt. And all that there is ever has been, ever will be ever. We can feel it as it floods us and saturates us, our physical and our spiritual, our gods within, but this is deep eternal love, with this deep gratitude, with peace, joy. Feel it as it fills you with omnipotent power, peace and joy. It is celebrational. It is humbling. When we watch all on the planet, we see all of our brothers and sisters, all of the light energy, all of the God light energy, and all things below and above, inside and out. Throughout this solar system and beyond. And we flood them with the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. And this is a constant. It is our intent. It is part of us. And this flow intensifies as our vibrational frequencies continue to elevate go higher and higher and higher. We affect all that there is ever has been, ever will be, ever. We affect it. We lift it. We transform it. How is this? It's because we are creation. We are the power. We are source. We come from source. Feel the waves. Allow them to saturate you. Feel how uplifting and how joyous and magna glorious this is. We are transforming this planet and all life into a higher existing frequency of joy, peace, bliss, prosperity, abundance, wealth, happiness, humbleness, and generosity. And we are this. I'm joining in a meditation and I'll return to close this out.
within us are the paradise. And the more we understand how these bodies were in function, how we master the different facets of them, and the more we stay in joy and peace, happiness and gratitude, the more this planet changes every split second frequencies keep increasing. When you're on a low frequency, what happens when you, you're, you're being washed with higher and higher frequency? If you're demon-possessed or you're a soulless body, what do you think happens? It's just, it's turmoil. It's absolutely uh, very confusing and stirring and it just causes all of those low frequencies to go absolutely berserk. This is what we're witnessing. All the attempts to distract us. All the attempts to keep us in this matrix. Be the gratitude you are. Be the love that you are. We, we cannot escape this. This is part of us. This is part of source. It's all everywhere. It flows everywhere. We've identified it. We've embraced it. And we are it. So everything continues to increase in vibrational frequency and harmony on and in and above this planet. It is accelerating because we are accelerating. Take it with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night. Embrace it. We celebrate every day we're in these bodies. No matter what, we stay in balance. We stay in peace and harmony and love and gratitude. Yeah, sometimes it'll come in, get us a little discombobulated, but we know now we are connected to our God. No. We aren't guessing. We aren't thinking maybe. We know. We will be back here Tuesday, September 17th at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2019.